What's going on guys, it's Pixelated, and we have yet another week of releases coming at you. As we do every week, we're gonna determine whether they're hype or dead, and luckily for you guys, we actually have a week of releases that is not too overwhelming. This week is filled with releases that are gonna be relatively easy to get, so you should be able to get your hands on something that you want as long as you're on top of it. But as always, we know the sneaker industry loves to keep blabbering and blabbering, and this week they blabbered a little too much and gave us the inside scoop on some really insane sneakers that will blow your mind. As as always, because we love the juicy, sickening collabs and the unique sneakers, we're gonna start off with the leaks. But before we get into anything, make sure to hit that like button. If you enjoy the video at any point, make sure to hit that subscribe button. For more videos, it helps the channel out a lot. And make sure to hit that noti bell to join Noti Gang and so you don't miss out on future videos. I've also started streaming on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm trying to keep it consistent. The timings still vary because my schedule is still here and there, but I'm trying to figure out a consistent schedule for you guys. So yeah, feel free to hit me up with a follow on Twitch twitch.tv slash pixelated that's twitch.tv slash p-i-c-s-o-l-e-a-t-e-d drop by let's hang out let's talk sneakers tech let's play some video games or just hang out anyways enough blabbering let's leave that to the sneaker industries let's get into the leaks the first leak we have is this bape x undefeated x adidas collab and i wanted to get this out first because technically it's not a leak it's actually an official release it's an official announcement because these sneakers are coming out later in this month but as a fan of bape and adidas collabs i wanted to cover this they've done super clean bape and adidas collabs on the nmd and the ultra boost in the past this time they've chosen the zx8000 as their model of choice I gotta say the OG green olive bape camo was getting a little overdone for my taste. They were doing it on pretty much every Adidas bape collab. So I'm glad they switched it up and hit these with a more vibrant monotone-esque green camo shade to accompany the black camo pair. It's still too loud for something I'd want to wear right now, but it's still a clean collab. Will it sell out? I'm not entirely sure, but considering it's an Adidas bape undefeated collab, the likelihood is really high. Next up, we have this insane Trophy Room collaboration. Trophy Room is known for doing unique and eye-catching collaborations on classic retro Jordans. I mean, that's to be expected when the store is owned by MJ's own son, Marcus Jordan. And I know Marcus Jordan doesn't want to live in his dad's shadow, but how can you really do that when your dad is Michael Jordan? But I can't say that's the only reason because they've really earned it with the collaborations they've brought to life over the years. This time, they're appropriately collaborating on a Jordan 1 in the Chicago colorway, but they're giving it a severely vintage treatment. It's a kind of vintage treatment I've never really seen before. It's got these weird, roughly textured red leather panels. It's got Michael Jordan's signature on the heel. It's got a translucent sole with stars on it that pay homage to the 85 All-Star Game uniforms on it to top it off. We even got the rumor has it text on the back of the tongue, a reminder that if you want to be like Mike, you got to get the shoes because it's all in the shoes. Either way, these are going to be bangers when they come out. Next leak, we have this very odd but satisfying combo. We've got this odd rendition of the Air Jordan 4. It is known as the Air Jordan 4 Starfish. The differing factor here is that while most Jordan 4s are made of nubuck or leather, this one is made of ballistic mesh. I already know the OGs are shaking their damn heads at this pair. All they want is a re-release of the retro Jordan 4 breads that release a year ago i get it but these to me look pretty damn cool i can't wait to see how a pair of air jordan 4s constructed with ballistic mesh feel on foot what's cool about this pair is you can tell the underlay is made of that same orange tone that was used in the shattered backboard ones hence the name air jordan 4 starfish it seems they've opted to go for the unfinished tongue on this pair of jordan 4s i'm not for or against unfinished tongues but that seems to be the trendy thing to do nowadays and for me i'm just happy to have a variety of options or characteristics on a pair of shoes that is is usually very tame. There's no mentioned release window, but I'm curious to try these out when they come out. Now we've already heard about this pair, the Ambush X Nike Dunk High. A few leaks about this sneaker have already been out there. Yoon herself posted a photo of her wearing them, but recently we got an even clearer in-hand look at the Ambush X Nike Dunk High. This in-hand look has revealed a lot of details that we didn't notice about the sneakers, but also a lot of details that we did notice about the sneaker, like the overarching swoosh that extends past the back of the sneaker. We get a better look at the leather construction of this sneaker, and just by how tumbled it looks in the pictures, I'm kind of expecting it to be of a high quality, though I don't want to make any judgments just yet. It looks like the swooshes are made of rubber. We have this plastic hard heel cup looking thing on the heel with Ambush branding, and we have more Ambush and Nike branding on the tongue. Now, I suspect this shoe is going to be a women's release, and if that happens to be the case, it's going to be stupendously hard to get in my size, as if it wasn't going to be hard to get in my size already, but I'll try to get my hands on them for you guys nonetheless. These are going to be insanely hard when they come out. Now, this leak is probably my favorite 
favorite of this week. We've seen a few leaked photos of this sneaker before, but now we get even more and official promo photos with a lot of detail. It's the Concepts X Nike Dunk High Turducken, which is a play on the word turducken, which is a combination meal of a turkey, duck, and chicken. To many, this may sound gross, but that is the point of this shoe. It uses the same concept, no pun intended, by incorporating chicken feet, socks, a duck inspired dunk, and a turkey leg Nerf Vortex football in the special box of this shoe. Sadly, the regular box will not have these special extra trinkets, but at least we know why it's called the Turducken. The sneaker itself is inspired by a mallard duck, hence the brown panels and the mid panels replicating feathers of a duck. These sneakers are going to be impossible to get on release, but we're all going to try anyway. That's it for the sneaker leaks. Let's get into the sneaker releases. The first release we have this week already dropped today. Look guys, I said I'm going to try to get these videos out earlier in the week. It's going to happen. All right. Anyways, the first release we have is the second Star Wars X Adidas collection. Most of the collection isn't that notable in my opinion, but the two pairs I want to focus on are the two top 10 highs. The collection is focused on Star Wars Disney TV show known as The Mandalorian. I haven't watched it yet, so don't spoil it for me, but these two top 10 highs are themed after Baby Yoda, and I gotta say the colorways and the hits are on point. It's not as detailed as the Boba Fett or Chewbacca top 10 highs, but I think these look cool anyway. Now, supposedly these already dropped today, but I haven't seen them anywhere except for the rest of the collection. I've seen the rest of the collection drop everywhere else. Maybe they're delaying the top 10 highs and using the initial collection to build hype for the top 10 highs or they released them and they sold out and I just didn't notice. I think the top 10 highs will sell out wherever they drop and I'm pretty sure they've sold out wherever else they've dropped. So I'm going to say they're marginally hyped. This collection released on November 4th and the top 10 highs retailed at 90 US dollars. And by the way, for those of you who've said in the past that, hey, you're a Canadian channel, you should be doing Canadian prices. Look, I get it. But all these sites that cover these sneakers, cover them in US prices, and I don't want to guesstimate the Canadian prices for you guys, hence the US prices. Next up, we have another second drop, this time by Reebok. We're getting another drop of the BBC Ice Cream X Reebok Question Lows. This time, they're titled The Running Dogs. We're getting three different colorways. Now, I gotta say, these colorways look like they're on point, but from what I've heard from people who've copped the original release, they said the quality wasn't that great. The print on the shoes was actually cracking, even after just wearing the pair one time. Obviously, these don't have the same print on them. They actually are made of either nubuck or suede and they don't have a random print that may crack while you walk so that probably won't be an issue with these pairs and while i do like the way these look i don't think they're gonna be hype the bbc ice cream x reebok question low running dogs are releasing on november 6th for 130 us dollars each and they will probably be dead next up we have the new balance vision racer in sunflower yellow this is jaden smith's signature sneaker with new balance it has released in various colorways in the past and seems to sell out asap every time due to how limited it is i don't know how in demand these sneakers really are. I just think they sell out because they release in such severely limited quantities. However, the New Balance Vision Racer in Sunflower Yellow is releasing on November 6th for 150 US dollars and will probably just sell out immediately because of just how limited it is. I'm gonna say these aren't hype though. Next up, we have probably the hottest release of this week. We have the Sakai X Nike Vapor Waffle. Sakai has already had a handful of successful Nike collabs that have been critically acclaimed and sold out almost immediately, like the Sakai X Nike Blazers and the Sakai X Nike LDV waffles, both of which had multiple releases in multiple colorways and they all sold out pretty much immediately. Unlike those releases though, the Sakai X Nike Vapor waffle got a lot of mixed reactions and a lot of negative reactions upon its initial reveal. But as the release window got closer and closer, hype beasts and sneakerheads did that thing they all like to do where it starts to grow on you and now it's grown on everyone and now everyone loves this amazing, super unique mashup silhouette. I just want to go on record to once again say that I like these from Jump, even with its wonky heel popping out the way that it does. The Sakai X Nike Vapor Waffle is releasing on November 6th for 180 US dollars in the sale colorway and it will be hype and it will sell out immediately. Next up, we have another Pharrell X Adidas Hue NMD drop. This time, we're getting the NMDs in these two very bright, bold gold and aqua colorways. I gotta say, I'm one of those people that enjoyed the Pharrell NMD with the Trail Souls. Without the Trail Souls, they just look kind of naked to me. I mean, the bold gold colorway literally looks like a banana peel for a shoe. I can understand a lot of people who like the OGs might like these better, or maybe this is just Adidas' attempt to keep the silhouette fresh by constantly changing things here and there. I feel like this sneaker has the potential to have a revival like five years down the line or maybe even further down the line, 
right now i don't really see these sneakers for myself even with the current price point even though it's been reduced from the original even higher price point i feel like nmds have already been positioned as a lower tier shoe with lower pricing but then we have these pharrell nmds that are always just higher priced than everything else and that really stops the momentum for anyone to want these pharrell nmds i will say this though the bold gold colorway does have one thing going for it it does kind of look like the og pharrell nmd colorway it's probably the closest thing we've got to that og colorway since the actual og colorway it's just too late for this silhouette in my opinion or you got to give it a decade to retro them or something the pharrell nmd is releasing in aqua and the bold gold colorways on november 7th for 220 us dollars and will probably be dead now this week is the week we're starting a new segment on these sneaker release videos and that is the weird sneaker of the week and for this week we have the puma deva mr doodle bruh i have no idea what's going on here what the heck this sneaker is a collaboration between london street artist sam cox aka Mr. Doodle and Puma. No knock on the hustle, Mr. Doodle's doodles on the shoe are actually on point. I dig that design, but this, the sole, what is it? It looks like a hairbrush. From the side, it looks like the bottom of a metal detector or something. I don't know what is going on. I know that high fashion heads are gonna be all over this thing, but I promise you literally no one else is gonna be. This sneaker is releasing for 120 US dollars on November 5th. And honestly, if you're gonna buy these, please tag me in a fit pic on Instagram to change my mind because I really don't know what's going on with these. Anyways, those are the release for this week is there anything you're looking forward to there are always more releases than what i mentioned in the video so if there's something i didn't mention and you're looking forward to it let me know in the comments below remember you don't have to be buying something to be looking forward to it i'll catch you guys in the next one pixelated is getting vaporized